the scalp is on the right side of his head. It's actually kind of a small plastic bag that helps get medicine to the part of Johnny's brain that's affected by meningitis. Everything apparently went well. Johnny's okay, but he is listed in serious but stable condition tonight. Meanwhile, the Spurs got some bad news on forward Jeff Cook today. He has a sprained wrist. Happened in the game against Houston last night. They say he'll miss tomorrow night's game, maybe more, the game against the Knicks. Jeff Cook out with a sprained wrist for at least one game. And it's getting to the point where the Spurs maybe should trade in the team bus for a large economy-sized ambulance. By my count, there are only five Spurs right now who are not nursing injuries of one kind or another. Let's check in at the infirmary and see what's been hobbling up the rest of the guys so far this season. There's Johnny Moore with the meningitis. We've talked about that. There's Jeff Cook with the sprained wrist. Mike Mitchell has a chronically sore knee and a sore back. Steve Johnson has a sore neck. He'll be out at least one more game. Then there's Wes Matthews with sore ribs. David Greenwood's ankle still acting up from an injury earlier this season. Tyrone Corbin has been bothered all season long with a knee problem. Mike Britton has a thigh bruise. And Artis Gilmore has a sore toe. And, of course, he's 36 years old. He's been putting up with other aches and pains that just go with the turf when you get bumped around like a 36-year-old NBA center does. You know, there was some thought earlier this year to suiting up assistant coach Don Boosie and letting him play. The way things going with the Spurs, maybe Cotton and trainer John Anderson ought to start practicing their jumpers too, huh? NBA tonight. The Milwaukee Bucks were ready if Minute Bowl wanted to get into a fight at the Mecca this evening. He didn't, but he was blocking shots. Look at, look at him swat that one away. And down at the other end, can you believe this hook shot? Amazing. But ball and the bullets come up short as we go to the scoreboard. It was Milwaukee beating Washington 114 to 98 tonight. Atlanta over Cleveland. Those are the two NBA games we have finals in on. In college, let, do we have an update on this? It's a final now. Minnesota upsets second-ranked Michigan 73 to 53. It was Duke over Wake Forest about as you expect 92 to 63. A couple of other scores for you. Another upset tonight. Alabama Birmingham fell to unranked Western Kentucky. 75 to 72 in overtime and locally southwest texas beat the u.s international team 87 to 81. craig stadler and larry mize share the second round lead at the bob hope desert classic both at 12 under par tom landry has made his super bowl pick he likes the bears because of their defense and new england coach ray barry says he'll decide tomorrow whether he'll use irving fryer in the super bowl against the bears or not okay what is all this about right i got in <laughs> considerable trouble tonight with some folks because i said on our earlier broadcast that you should not send flowers or plants to John Moore's room because a lot of people had wanted to do that yes. and there was some uh, concern mm -hmm. about too many plants coming in and it not being uh, a good situation for everybody involved okay so um, but gee I don't want to have anybody mad at me okay but if use your judgment if you think you want to send flowers or or a plant to John Moore just understand oh, there's the address right there but understand I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to get myself in deeper trouble, okay? All right. Well, we'll just clean that up. There's your address for Johnny Moore. And uh, plants are some of my I think best friends. Great. We had three sure. dozen plants at my house, folks, and none of them has eaten me yet. Just understand. Goodness gracious.